we go. <laughs> so, um, there are a couple of things. Like, I have, I have so many thoughts in my head. So, to try to get them out and articulate them, please bear with me. But one of the things I wanted to say is, oh, first off, thank you, who's ever jacket to have on. <laughs> Seriously, it's a lifesaver right now. Um, but besides that, I want to say, like, regarding family court, CPS, everything, one thing we have to realize, this is not a Republican issue. This is not a Democratic issue. This is not a political issue regarding what party you're a part of. This is a our family issue and that's the thing that we need to realize like we all need to be together you know like I'm part of a group called Real Progressives so I see like there's people here who were Trump supporters I'm not a Trump supporter I'm not a Hillary Clinton supporter either fuck her but the thing is it's not about that Sorry, 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 sorry. I live in New York. I've been there for 16 years, so uh, the language is kind of, you know, comes with the territory. Um, very colorful, yes. Uh, so the thing is, we're in a situation because of the act that Hillary Clinton pushed her husband to pass. And it's affected all of us. And the thing is, what we have to do is that we have to come together and fight it. And that's a big issue. Like, I'm right now, and this is the first time I've ever said this publicly because it, it's hard. And it, it has a lot to do with the, um, the way people look at you in regards to this. I'm right now in my own, going through my own case. And it's been three years that I've been fighting through this. And the reason why I'm through, I'm going through this is because my son said that my daughter's father smoked funny cigarettes in the bathroom. My kids were taken away because of that. Taken away. I had a daughter who was six months old. They saw money. I didn't realize this before. Since essentially, CPS are cops without badges. They don't have to abide by Miranda rights. So whatever you say can and will be used against you, but they don't have to tell you that. That's so crazy. Exactly. So what they, whatever I said, they use it against me and they're like, oh, we, we couldn't sleep at night if, we couldn't, if, if your kids were still with you. Three years later, I'm still going through this because you know, I mean, yes, I do kind of have diarrhea of the mouth. Obviously, you, heard, you see that with my language. And um, I had said, because I thought it was going to make me look better. So I said, and I knew that they were going to drug test me, even though I didn't know at the time that I could deny it, not do it. But I was like, okay. So I said, I smoked, smoked marijuana for my anxiety. That put a, that opened a can of worms. Meaning they're like, oh, okay, you have to see a psychiatrist, you have to go through psychological evaluations, you have to do this, you have to do that. Even though I was like, honestly, I just smoke weed because I enjoy it, but I don't do it around my kids, you know? And um, so I had to go through all of that. Now, three years, I've gone through six psychiatric evaluations, three psychological evaluations, and they won't accept any of them because they weren't with their doctors. It's like I told judges after judge, why do I have to go through their doctors? What is it? These doctors that I've gone through, I've paid thousands, I've already spent $50,000 in this case. I've gone through this already. These doctors are credible. They are actually uh, been into your system. You, they were con had contracts with you. But because you guys didn't choose them and you guys don't agree with their results, they want to keep going. And the judges keep on going, siding, exactly, siding with them. The thing, the difference between my case now and other, and a lot of other people's cases is because my kids are with family. So, you know, it's been three years. My kids haven't been adopted out because they're with family. And in a way, like, 
So in the beginning, you know, they were gonna place my daughter, who was an infant, they were gonna place my daughter with her grandmother. Her grandmother's husband has a criminal record. And they said, the only re way we can, re we can place her there is if he moves out. He moved out. Because he had, and, but he had like a pending case and the feds or whoever, I don't even know. They, they took his license, they took everything. His doctor's passport and everything. And they're like, okay, you have to provide proof of residency that he doesn't live there anymore. So, um, he wasn't living there, but he couldn't go to DNV to change his address because the feds had his information and you had to have like six points. I'm in Jersey. So you had to have six points and blah, 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 this and that. And he couldn't do it. So when we went to court, the judge was like, look, cause she used to work for that office. This was, this judge was, I was like, okay, okay, cool. She was like, look, you're not gonna get that. It's unrealistic. Sorry, just go to the house, make sure his stuff is not there. You know, go to where he lives now you know, to verify he lives there. And they did all that. And um, they still didn't put my child, my daughter with her grandmother. They violated a court order. So my daughter was in foster care for another six months. I only saw my daughter for four hours a week. I'm sorry, excuse me, two hours a week because of this and there was nothing that could be done so i did their whole compliance thing the, the safety protection safety plan whatever that shit that's called i'm sorry sorry whatever that's called and so i was like so happy i was like okay you know i'm going back to court i'm going back to court i did everything they violated the court order this and that i went to court and yet they turned everything on me because i didn't do their psychiatric with their doctor they're like oh no we don't approve of this we don't approve of this I'm still going through it through three years later. And this is where, like, I'm at a loss for words, to be honest with you. Like, this is insane. This should not be happening to families. It doesn't matter what your political affiliation is. We should all be standing together. That bottom line, we all should be standing together. We should all continue fighting. I don't care if you voted for Trump. I don't care if you voted for Hillary. I don't care if you voted for the alien. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Our children matter, and we all need to fight for our children. You know, and, and that's the thing. I vote for Jill Stein, but you know, so it doesn't matter. But like I said, there's one thing, like, because I'm a, a act like an avid activist. So have you ever heard of the chant called What Do You Want? So, okay, so it's like, what do you want? You guys say justice. When do you want it? You say now. And if we don't get it, shut it down. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna say. And I hope everyone out here hears it. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. And if we don't get it, if we don't get it, and if we don't get it, and if we don't get it, thank you.